the Fed's a joke. And that's why Ron Paul, you know, Congressman Ron Paul was with us in Texas. And he says the same thing. And the Fed. But everybody thinks the Federal Reserve Bank is omnipotent, you know, the most powerful bankers in the world. And what these guys are saying, they have no power because the real banking system is the shadow banking system. It's the banking system we cannot see. And so everybody, so when the Fed says, oh, we're going to, we're going to talk about expectations, they say, we're printing money. So the Fed says, we're, we're printing quantitative easing. And everybody goes, oh, that means there's going to be inflation. Oh, there's going to be inflation. Oh, there's going to be inflation. But what Lacey Hodd, Jeff Records, and Jeff Snatter are saying, no, it's deflation, right? I mean, that that's amazing. And what Lacey Hunt started the whole thing, he was, I think he was part of the Fed. He says, what the Fed dep depends upon is GDP, gross domestic pro product equals M2 times V. And M2 is money supply. So every time the Fed chairman, this guy Powell gets up there and says, oh, we're issuing, you know, we're going to print money. They don't print money. But everybody thinks when the Fed says we're printing money or quantitative easing, they think it's M2. And what Jeff Snyder and everybody else is saying, George and everybody's saying, the Fed doesn't print money. The Fed prints bank reserves. And the difference is we cannot spend bank reserves. It's not money. But everybody says, oh, my God, there's going to be inflation because the Fed's printing money. But they're not printing money. They're printing bank reserves. I think the most important thing is that the Fed is a joke. I mean, exactly as, and he was on stage with us in Texas a couple of days ago. And he said, the Fed's a joke. And everybody says, oh, don't fight the Fed. What else do they say? Fed has far guidance. And the Fed is the Wizard of Oz. It's got no power. You know, and it's kind of hard for the average person to understand that. But that's the beauty of YouTube and all the stuff we listen to and going to those conferences. And, the, and so the conference was for a lot of rich people, but then to go to a Del Frisco's and have the wait staff all excited because we're there. So that's the power of YouTube, they have access to everybody. Well, it's what they call, they manage expectation. So when the Fed gets up there and says, we're gonna do QE, the uneducated, the unwashed, the filthy, people don't watch YouTube say, oh, that means there's going to be inflation. QE, quantitative easing, means they're printing money. But they're not printing money, they're printing bank reserves, and you cannot spend a bank reserve. All it is is a ledger entry between like, you know, I owe you, Daniil, $10, and you say, I owe you $10. But no, there's no money there. So it's a complete sham. And that's what the power of YouTube is. And guys like Jeff Snyder, Lacey Hunt, and uh, Jim Records and the staff, the staff were working on us, they can now get to some of the best teachers in the world for free. And they say we're in deflation, yeah. not inflation, because it's called the, the Fed manages ex expectancy, not reality. So they, they send out, you know, they, when I watch CNBC, all those goofballs out there say, oh, the Fed issued poor guidance. It's a, it's, it's a sham. They want to trick you. And that's what guys like Lacey Hunt, Jeff Snatter, and Jim Rickards are saying. It's bullshit. And then they said, well, don't fight the Fed. And that's why it was so profound in Texas. And then studying what we study at Rich Dad is these three guys who most people would never even listen to. They're the smartest guys I've ever met. So it's <clears throat> the Fed is the wizard of odds. There's nothing there. Well, let, let me explain it, because this is what Jeff Snatter made really clear. It goes to the monetary system, the banking system. There's a thing called the shadow banking system. And the shadow banking system is like a hundred times bigger than the Fed. And what all three guys, Lacey Hahn, Jim Records, and Jeff Snyder are saying, the shadow banking system is crashing. So the Fed is out there saying, oh, we're issuing forward guidance saying, uh, we'll print QE or whatever they do. So everybody thinks price is going up. But the reality of the three guys are saying, we're, we're going into a depression. It's crashing because the biggest money system is a shadow banking system. We cannot see it. It's crashing as we speak. It's the Fed. The Fed has no power. The Fed is the wizard of Oz. And if you think of it that way, I wrote an article for a friend at Jet Set, and I, I wrote about the Fed being the wizard of Oz. I caught hell for that one too. But anyway, I was, 
I was just kind of guessing, you know, I was just kind of guessing. The biggest monetary system is the shadow banking system, and it's quite broke. Yeah, they say we're tapering, so everybody thinks, oh, that means the economy is getting strong. Oh, and that means they're going to increase rates. But the Fed has no power. The Fed is the Wizard of Oz. But what it really means is, if you notice, the reason the shelves are empty is because the Fed or Yellen has been paying people to stay at home. So the truck drivers aren't driving and they're not unloading the trucks. The shelves are empty. And everybody goes, oh my God, there's a shortage. I think it's all manufactured. Why would they pay people not to work? Why would there be nine million boats sitting, ships sitting offshore? Nobody's unloading them. The shelves are empty, and everybody thinks there's inflation. There's supply and demand. And then Biden cuts out the Keystone Pipeline, and then he wants to buy oil. So Russia and Saudi Arabia are in trouble now because when they abandoned Afghanistan, that broke the agreement with the petrodollar with Afghanistan. I mean with. Saudi Arabia and America. See, America promised Saudi Arabia we'd protect them. But when they dumped Afghanistan, the Saudis said, "Oh my God, we can't trust America." So this is all happening in the last few weeks. And so European, the shadow European shadow, the euro dollar, the, the shadow banking system is collapsing. And so Biden, I mean, uh, and so Powell gets up, the Fed chairman gets up, and he says, "Oh, we're going to start to end taper, and that means we might start interest rates." They're trying to get people to spend money.